Santa baby. Nothing? <laughs> really? Nothing? Dick? Uh, hey, folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc., uh, the campaign edition. Uh, don't forget Where to follow on Twitch. No, so now you're just going to keep yelling? <laughs> Don't forget to follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube channel. If you want to buy cool shit like this, uh, hit the link below, tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. Uh, get yourself a duvet. Get yourself a bath mat. We got all that shit on there because we're classy like that. Uh, tonight, we're going to go ahead and try and recover the campaign. So prepare for a lengthy soliloquy by yours truly. But first, let's go ahead and meet the players, including our newest member of Mercury. Inc. We will start off with Ernest. Ernest, tell us who you are. Tell us who you're playing, please. Uh, so my name is Ernest. I'm playing Lucas, the uh, anti-druid. And uh, my goal in this campaign is to stay alive and set as many things on fire as possible. Uh, except for animals. Well, that's not true. I'm the anti-druid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, of course you are. Uh, our friend in the north, Chris. Chris, who are you and who are you playing? Uh, my name's Chris. I'm one half of CG Mini Painting. Uh, paint minis on stream, on Twitch. Um, I will be playing minis, the Eric Cocker cleric that the group seems to love to torture. Fair enough. You can uh, fly now, right? Your wings grew back? He can fly now, feathers? yes. Uh, the feathers that got clipped are now back in full force. Uh, third up, Blake. Blake, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, I'm Perpetua. She's a little changeling girl with a difference. Uh, I'm just dropping the whole halfling facade because through that. Because uh, fuck it. Yeah, because fuck it at this point. And I have not tortured my knees. Actually, I think he's right. I don't think he's done that. No, I think, uh, well, that and him and Lucas, or her and Lucas, I think are the only two. Mostly like Kyle. Him. It's like Kyle. It's, it's Kyle. It's Kyle. It's Kyle. Kyle. trying Kyle. to be nice, but it's Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kyle. We all know, because he's the fucker and he kills everybody. Uh, last but not least, our newest player to Murder Hobo, Inc., uh, Jesse. Jesse, who are you and who are you playing without giving out any spoilers to these three morons? Um, I am playing uh, Q, a oh. handsome stranger, um, to yet be determined uh, until you meet them. And uh, I, uh, I don't do anything real fun. I'm just a <coughs> normal jackass who has a normal life. I don't do any streams, anything like that. I'm a lazy fuck. <laughs> Welcome to Murder Hobo Week. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, folks, I promise to let you listen to me yammer on for a while, and that is what we are going to do. <clears throat> this is episode 20 of the campaign, so let's do a little brief catch-up. These guys spent 10 years in the academy. They've learned everything they needed to do. Then they were turned loose to become heroes of the realm. Uh, they then instigated a volcano eruption, let loose evil upon the world again, and uh, made fun of their sick instructor, stole a boat, killed the captain, landed on this large island that we'll call Greece, but it's not, it's Sedilis. <clears throat> and they've made their way through the land by pooping on people as Manis flies over them and in general being roguish figures who are anything but heroes. Uh, they torched Torgal Manor. They killed Lady Torgal. Uh, they've gotten into fights. Uh, Kyle is wanted by other gnomes. Kyle and Carol are currently in custody. That's a lot of cuz. Uh, so they are not going to be of much use to this party in this episode. So last episode, uh, if you can recall that far along, uh, these guys broke out of town because angry villagers appeared because of what I'm sure they'll pass off as a misunderstanding. Yeah. And went to Fink Mines to resolve the problem there. Upon arriving at Fink Mines, they found zombie miners, whom they destroyed, hobgoblins, all of which are dead except for one, which is in a magic prison box, which is how this debacle started so they, that's a regular goblin isn't it that's a is it yeah regular goblin not hobgoblin uh, my bad less hit points uh <clears throat> they got into the mine they found some dead miners they miraculously made it to the point they needed to be 
faced off with a Vrock and, well, for lack of a better term, charmed miners. Uh, without suffering too much spore damage, they managed to cleanse this mine. Uh, and the military, just like in every movie and TV show, arrived just in the nick of time to take credit for it as all the bad guys were felled. Uh, in doing so, first class, or uh, I don't know, what is Joey? It? Joey. Yeah, what is Joey? Right. He, was a private. he was a private. private private first class pfc joey tribbiani uh then went up to get lord bushmill uh a noted shall we say protagonist of the party uh followed quickly by uh perpetua who stabbed him in the back of the skull just fucking for no reason managed to escape has changed herself into something else and headed for fink uh, followed shortly thereafter by Lucas and Meniz, who decided that Dewey's etchings were getting boring. They went out, found the dead Joey Tribbiani, saw two guards posing dead miners in erotic adult positions, and also fled the mine. Now, during the episode, <clears throat> there was some consternation about whether or not they had met Lord Bushmill. Uh, for those of you who have watched the episodes, you know that both Lucas and Meniz have taken jabs at the large Lord. Uh, Lucas throwing a lightning bolt and pissing him off. Before. It was defensive. Uh-huh. And so everybody, Lord Bushmill knows who everybody is. So in lieu of that new information, which should have been old information, but wasn't, uh, Lucas and Meniz, you met a different individual altogether. And they said, hey, congratulations, sayonara, blah, blah, blah. You guys headed back to Fink. Carol and uh, Dewey Dacamel stayed behind to take etchings from the fractured floor and obelisk uh, inside with uh, Lance Corporal somebody, Fargan. Uh, they were released from servitude as the guardsmen cleaned up the mess, or the military men cleaned up the mess, and they headed off to find Joey Tribbiani, then were subsequently spotted by two guards who were done posing dead miners in erotic positions. Uh, Carol had a bit of diarrhea of the mouth, uh, pretty much fell on her sword and proclaimed that she killed Jesus. So both of those two individuals were taken into custody by Lord Bushmill and are being marched back. Dewey in irons, Carol seemingly no threat because she's willing to announce that she shot Kennedy. Uh, so she does not have cuffs on. So we are going to rejoin this group as well as Jesse uh, slash Q in Fink. We will start with Pumpkin Butt, who still hasn't changed his name on the screen, so I look like an idiot. Uh, you got back to town, the small town of Fink. As you return, you notice something very unusual. A large banner hangs over the single entrance of the town. Is that the way you were going into town? Uh, I would have no reason not to, but what would right. the band say? Well, I just wanted to make sure, since you guys escaped, <clears throat> above the main entrance is the third annual poker tournament of Fink. And you notice that a significant amount of people have arrived uh, during your foray into the depths of the Fink mines. So the crowded town... Uh, give me a give me an insight check to see if you spot the angry villagers and other people you might know, please. All of us? Nope, not yet. Just uh, just Seven, seventeen. Uh, yeah, they're still pissed off. Angry villagers, both uh, gnolls or I'm sorry, hobgoblins and humans. Um, uh, I think yes. That's it, because Lord Bushmill will be behind you still at the mine. So, as you go in, huge banner being hung. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Point, of, point of order. You said Lord Bushmill wasn't at the mine. No, he, he wasn't the one Lucas and Meniz spoke to. He okay. is at the mine. He's okay. the one that currently has custody of both Carol and Kyle. Curmudgeon. There, I got it, another C. So as you come through the gates, you notice there seems to be a festival-like atmosphere. Uh, and uh, there's a lot more people, uh, including what appear to be adventuring types in. 
Over to me. Yep. Okay. Uh, I am internally surprised and try not to let that reflect on my face, but, uh, Deception. I, uh, I, okay. That's going to be 52. I, um, on a D20, folks, it's a 52. Uh, uh, you know mind. what? I, I, I rolled a 1,006, so they fucking know you're lying. No, no, no it's, it's, a, it's a 16 plus 8, 24. That's fine. You managed to go ahead and uh, 26, 26. disguise okay. your surprise. Okay. Disguise my surprise in my disguise? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and you are the female, right? Y- yes. I, I, I sent you the description of what I look yeah, like. Oh, yeah. I, I just wanted to double check. Yes. Uh, and God damn it, I'm going to collect my reward. Uh, so you're going right to, uh, we, 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 my we, office? Did, we did visit him prior to heading out. If I'm not mistaken, you are not mistaken. So I would know where that is. So yeah, that's what I would want to do. Okay. You're going to head that way. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, odd, even any role, Blake. Even you hear a loud trumpeting. Oh, excuse me. I had beans for lunch. <laughs> the entire crowd looks beyond you in a state of awe. I, my gaze follows. Behind you is a handsome stranger riding a war elephant that's armored. Is it, going to, is, is it in, on course for me? Coming right through the front doors. Okay. Am I in its way? <laughs> Everybody is scattering because it's a war elephant. Okay, then yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and move, move, make, make way for Prince Ali. Or Q in this case. Uh, Q, you have entered the city of Fink for the poker tournament. Welcome to town. Uh, the people scatter at your approach because of your pachyderm and uh, are in awe of the beast. What would you like to do? Uh, I will head for the... Uh... I will only be in awe of that beast if it is a male beast. (laughs) One more time, Q. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to head towards wherever the tournament's being held to get set up. Okay. Excuse me. Fuck out the way, people. Pack a damn coming through. Uh, Perpetua, you notice that this individual is wearing stylish clothes and seems to own the place. So you do not recognize them. uh, But this person has no shame about throwing money around. Uh, I know that Fink owns this place, so I am not going to uh, be particularly impressed. Fair enough. Lucas and Manise, hand in hand, you guys tromp through the wilderness, back on the well-trodden trail from Fink Mines to Fink. Uh, you are about a half hour behind Perpetua, who is already roaming around, or not. You aren't really sure. As you two reach uh, the gates, you also notice a large banner of a poker tournament. You also notice the large back end of an extremely large creature. Hmm. uh, As a druid, uh, I'll give you advantage. Uh, Both of you roll arcana. Uh, uh, that's a that's a twelve. Uh, Manise, you are in awe of this creature, and you give it a wide berth. Lucas, you have heard of war elephants before, but never seen one. You must have been paying attention in warfare history class, so mm-hmm. you know that this thing can squash a human being with its foot. Uh, at this time, you do not see its owner, and the creature seems to be unattended. Interesting. Um, there's no one. Is there anyone standing right around? <laughs> they have given a wide berth from this creature. Uh, even its tusks have what you would call daggers on them. So it's like a war cow, is only it, much bigger. Tied up or something? No. No? Mm-mm. Hmm. So what you're saying is we could take this mount. I was actually thinking about maybe casting invisibility on it and then smacking it on the butt. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a fantastic plan. Let's do that. I like that. 
Yeah, let's go with that idea. <laughs> Smart. Well, I mean, I, the thing is, once you attack something, that would be a, he would come out of invisibility, so it'd be a waste now that I think about it. Yeah, you'd probably only smash like three people in a building before, you know, a thing reappeared, brought down by a hail of gunfire. No oh, guns. Yeah. <laughs> What is this? Oh, the, oh, that's right. You, ha you haven't been in town long enough. Things have changed, I said. Uh, Anise, you want to try anything with this large pachyderm? Um, is there, like, I assume there's, like, a maybe not a saddle, but, like, a, an area where you would sit or mount this, this wonderful elephant? Q, how do you want to deck this creature out? Uh, yeah, it has, like, a, um, it has, like, a full saddle as well as a space where you can like store shit or add extra people on there so yeah there's plenty there's a there's a one main saddle at the top so you can easily hop on and ride away there's i'm a, gonna fly up there and, and and try to ride off <laughs> <laughs> tell lucas to cover me uh -huh. are you okay well, look at that guy <laughs> Let me go ahead and pull up the statistics for the war elephant so that when it cracks your skull, um, I make sure to get the right numbers. I, it won't catch me. I can fly. Wait, I, I've marked a regular elephant. I have those stats. Is there a separate uh, war elephant? Yeah. It, it has a prehensile trunk and could snatch you up. Two. There it is. Uh, okay. And it's also decked out in scale armor, apparently. So you want to fly up, correct? Yep. yep. What a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, I fly at 50 feet. I back up. Oh, so you're flying above it. Well, yeah, like I'm going to go up and land on the saddle. I, I, I'm going to get out of range of this uh, elephant's like trample path if it flashes or tries to like wrap around. Okay. Uh, Manise, give me a perception check. And then an insight check. Ooh, perception? Yep. And then insight. Uh, that'll be a seven on perception. You're going to die. And insight. We got a 12 on the insight. So you fly up 50 feet, fail to notice its beady eyes focusing in on you and kind of shifting backwards uh, so that it's large tusks uh, are going to be in perfect firing position when you go inverted there, Maverick. Um, so are you going to land on it? That was the plan. Fair enough. Uh, as you descend, I will attack. Uh, 14 plus 8, 22. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And this so I have reactions that help here. No. Oh, cleric down. Uh, oh, it's only 3d8 plus 5. So I can may, survive that. You may be <laughs> conscious. Uh, a 2, a 6, and a 4. So 12 plus 5. 17 is one of its tusks crams into your feathered regions. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt. Fly away. I will. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the end of my turn, anyways. Initiative, you, I, and Manise, or, or Lucas, uh, 12. 19. 7. <laughs> My God. These dice are not liking me right now. Go ahead, Lucas. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to look around to see if uh, we caught the attention of anyone. Oh, yes. The entire crowd in the uh, plaza is <laughs> backing away at a rapid pace as okay. the war elephant is pissed. I will do the same. <laughs> I will back away. Uh, Maniz, what is your movement speed? Uh, flying is 50 feet. I'm going to roll at disadvantage to try and whack you with my trunk. 13 and a 7, so 15. Misses. Uh, you feel the soft breeze against your avian anus uh, as the trunk sphincter. misses you. Uh, the, the war elephant does not move. It is perfectly content staying where it is. So, Maniz, it's swung and missed. What do you want to do? I'll, I'll just fly away now. Uh, Q, insight check, please. 
Okay. Uh, that's a 19. As you register for the poker tournament, you hear a disturbance outside and cleverly deduce that somebody's fucking with your mount. Awesome. I will uh, whistle for the mount to uh, I'll walk I'll walk back outside and be like, who's fucking with my pack of dough? And I'll start, I'll peer around to try and see who's close by or or I'll say another or, 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 insight. Who's pucking, who's pucking with my pachyderm? Uh, that's another 19. Uh, you notice that the crowd has damn near vaporized itself, uh, running out of the way of this armored creature. Uh, but you see a rather large bird-like figure uh, scurrying away in midair. Okay. You deduce that uh, the vulture is probably responsible for some of this. Ah, there's big fucking birds in this city. Uh, I will uh, whistle to my uh, pachyderm to come over. Uh. The, the large creature turns its head and begins to lumber towards the building where you are at. It stops and takes one knee in the event that you want to mount. Uh, I will look at it and just be like, just hang out here. Stop causing problems. Pachyderm <laughs> re-rises and everybody's like, whoa. I walk back inside. Uh, <laughs> pumpkin butt. Uh, Perpetua, you're up. Uh, okay. Give me an insight. Okay. Uh, at disadvantage. At disadvantage? Okay. Because you're Second. farther away. Okay. Uh, insight is plus six. So it's, uh, 17 is the low. Uh, you can hear some kind of disturbance, but you are at the Fink Mining headquarters. Okay, but did you see the PM? Uh, no, you would not. Okay, fair enough. Okie dokie. Um, so uh, do they even appear to be open in lieu of the tournament? There is one individual inside, but the sign says closed on the window. The... Small female figure has coppery skin and dark flaxen hair. Uh, and is a stranger to me. Correct. You would not notice this person. Or okay. you have not met this person before. Uh, I am going to forego wasting time uh, dealing with peons because I only deal with think. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I would like to... Uh, I would like to uh, locate uh, the venue of the tournament uh that would be uh back between one and two on your map folks i gave these which, which, guys which which one and two there are a bunch of twos there's only one one yeah but it could be between any one and two it's, it's the square building there gotcha thank you yeah uh well, okie dokie and and i'm and this just seems to be where people are congregating there's a line. Uh, the line is hugging the building, thanks to the pachyderm's sudden appearance. Uh, when you turn around to go, the crowd is scattered enough, and you see this giant fucking war elephant. Okay, uh, okay. so, so, so if, if I'm seeing that the town is this crowded, actually, I'm, I'm going to postpone uh, trying to uh, go to the tournament, and I would like to secure accommodations for the evening. Odd or even, please. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I told I told you which tavern or which inn I would prefer. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I rolled even. Uh, you notice a uh, handsome stranger. Uh, you can't hear him, but you notice that he appears to be talking to the animal, and he goes back inside. Uh, the, 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 the same person that was writing it. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So you are headed to. The south side. I, I, I'm, right? I'm headed to the three closer to the uh, area in which this is this is happening. Uh, next to Fink Mining headquarters, no, or no, the one the one closest to the. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Turn, tournament. Uh, are you going to go through the plaza down the little alley, or through the plaza to? The I, I'm going to, so so from so from uh, is. Uh, so from there, I'm going to just go horizontal uh, to these to, to, the, to the plaza and then up the uh, skinny alley starting at six. Gotcha. Maniz and Lucas, uh, after Maniz's close brush with death by goring, what would you guys like to do? Um, 
hold that thought. Uh, you hear a trumpeting and a line of troops is headed uh, into the town. Ooh, I duck out. <laughs> this sounds bad. You Just know. Out. You notice Lord Bushmill is leading the way with uh, young Corporal Fargan. Yeah, I want to be out of sight for that. In, be in between these two are your associates, uh, Carol and Kyle's characters. Kyle is in cuffs. Uh, neither one is saying anything. And as the military strides in, Lord Bushmill begins to motion and the gates to uh, think are sealed under his authority. <laughs> what would you guys like to... Oh, first off, give me a stealth there, Lucas. Alrighty. Dexterity and... Yeah. That is a 14. Yeah, close enough. There's a lot of people. Uh, Manise, what would you like to do? You also well, recognize Lord Bushmill. Okay. Do I see Lucas from where I am? Uh, roll better than a 14 and you will. Just straight up. All right. So I don't see Lucas from where I am. All right. Um, Everybody's alone. <laughs> <laughs> With the party. Perfect. I love this. Uh, Dewey does not see you. Uh, Carol's character does not see you. Lord Bushmill does not see you. Meniz. Lord Bushmill does not see you either. The crowd is too thick. Uh, Meniz, since you are closest, you can overhear Lord Bushmill telling them to seal the gates and get somebody in the high tower. In the center of the plaza is a rudimentary F troop kind of tower made out of stockade uh, and it extends up and over the walls but gives a clear view of almost 30 feet high. Uh, nobody was in it. It was just built uh, when you guys left. So uh, I'll guys... uh, dash towards the gambling halls to, you know, I assume there would be crowds in that area. I could just and blend in. Uh, do you want to cut across the plaza or take the alley? I'm more curious why the tournament isn't taking place in something that's labeled a gambling hall. Oh, uh, well, I'm I'm flying, so I could just that. Well, if you fly, Lord Bushmill might spot you. Do you want to do that? Oh, okay. Well, no, I'll go. I'll take the alleyway. Okay, cover uh, is better. Uh, Perpetua, you and Q are about to find out just how big this tournament is. Uh, and because of, shall we say, prior cheating, the tournament itself is held in the plaza in full view of everyone. That way... That's that's just registration and admin bullshit. Correct. Oh, okay, yes. fair so enough. No, the, no, very, very the tournament fair. will be happening in the morning. However, now also, that the gates also, are... Also PM. I'm sorry? Also oh, yeah. PM. Yeah. Uh, the tournament will be held uh, starting next morning. Uh, no, because you were with uh, Tribbiani. No, I took etchings. You did? Yes. I was the one that initiated that. D12 against me. Two. Twelve. Stealth roll. Okay. Uh, 16 plus all of the things. Um, you can have it. Uh, dirty 20. Yeah, you can have it. Okay. Uh, we will go back to Q. Q, you have successfully registered. You have given the money. Uh, you have been explained the rules. Uh, it will be out in the open. There will be no cheating. Uh, there will be no associates uh, behind you. Uh, the guards who have uh, no uh, dog in this fight... Uh, will keep people back to a certain level, uh, and you will be expected to keep your hands above your table. You will also, if the need be, allow to be frisked. Oh, hmm. yes. Keep your hands to yourself. All right. Um, okay. Right, me with a good time. Yeah. And, they, and, and they ask you about your mount. What about it? They've never seen one before. 
Wow, that's good. Then you uh, don't need to worry about it. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, they also ask if you are alone. Is that, are you asking me out? Is that what this is? I'm. We need to know if you have any associates within the walls. That way we will keep an eye on them and make sure that they are positioned away from your table. Not that I'm aware of. I came alone. Fair enough. Uh, over to Perpetua. You make it to the end. D12 against me. Nine. Ten. Uh, they do have one... Uh, is is this the same inn that I that I bought the room off the innkeeper? Uh, no, that would have been uh, the other one. Okay. The other one. Uh, okay. They have three rooms available. Uh, finest accommodations. Oh sure, uh, Bedbug Central. Uh, so uh, don't make me bribe this one too. Uh, it will be a common room. Uh, it will be a solo room. Um, it will be okay. Okay, fair enough. Uh, uh, I, I want to I want to prepay for three nights just in case. Fair enough. Uh, over to Lucas and Meniz. <clears throat> how, how much? How much, Frank? Uh, well, mining town and three days during a tournament. Uh, he's going to need ninety. <laughs> ninety large. Okay, I give him a hundred and a wink, saying I expect breakfast. Tube steak, it is. <laughs> That's the kind of breakfast I was looking for. Maniz and Lucas, you guys are up. Maniz, you have separated. Uh, Lucas, uh, Maniz and Lucas, go ahead and straight up D20, please. 17. Uh, Lucas, you notice Maniz lose you in the crowd, and he heads off down the alley. Uh, I follow him. Fair enough. Maniz, you head over to the... Uh, were you going to the inn or the gambling hall? Uh, gambling hall. Uh, you pass by an inn. Uh, you pass by a tavern, and you come to the gambling hall. Spots. Gambling hall. <laughs> you walk in. Uh, you are uh, immediately greeted by a waitress who wishes to take your order in a small cocktail dress. Um, I will have a drink of mead. Fair enough. She ushers you in, says pick a table, uh, and best of luck, my feathered friend. Lucas, are you tight or given some space? Yeah, I'm going to actually uh, follow him in there. I just wanted to meet back up with him. Beniz, uh, you hear the door open right behind you, spin around, and you notice Lucas is there. Uh, just as quickly as Lucas appears, a flagon of mead is in your hand from the cocktail waitress who turns to Lucas and says, what do you have in love? Yeah, I'll have some wine and then I uh, join Maniz. I, I'll pay for that. Thank you, Maniz. He's a I knew good I liked guy. you for a reason. Kyle's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you guys going to sit down at one of the gambling tables? Sure. Uh, hell no. What else is going on in here? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you know what? Uh, odd nothing, even strippers. Strippers it is. It's spots. <laughs> uh, there is a stripper on the main stage. Her charisma is 10. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the main stage, Chastity. <laughs> uh, what's her dexterity? Six. She's not very limber and she's not very attractive, but eh, it's been a while since you've seen a woman, so you're okay. A quarter orc. <laughs> <laughs> half air cocker. She has shit in airs. <laughs> yeah, half air cocker. She has bird legs. Uh, so, Maniz, uh, you have but your choice. They, but, but they go all the way up. All the way up. She has no body. Like it's owl. just. <laughs> yeah. She is an owl. This constantly does the chicken dance. <laughs> and, and, and oh, lordy. She, she has your introduction to Hogwarts, too. Beneath, <laughs> uh, there are a plethora of games that you can choose from. Uh, you pick the table, you pick the game, you're all set. Lucas, uh, there's a seat open in Pervert's Row. 
No, no, that's too dangerous. <laughs> that's <a flash> zone. <laughs> She's I'll not eating flashlight. or drinking. That's the are, next. Are, are, are they handing out plastic sheets? Like if you go to see Gallagher, it's Gallagher. Yes, <laughs> it's it's the it's Joanne Gallagher is the stripper on stage. Manise, what kind of game do you want to play? Um, play some roulette or something similar to roulette. Uh, three dozens. I was gonna say, I'm like something where you can roll a dice and see if you win. So, uh, black, red, odd, even. Uh, if you want to pick a number, we're going zero to a hundred. It's to 50. No, three dozen. So it's three dozen. 36 plus 36. zero and double zero. So it'd be 38. So let's do. Not, not all have double zero. Fair enough. Uh, you know what? Let's do a 20, a 12, and a four. Does that sound fair? Sure. Okay. Do you want uh, odd even total for black red, or do you want a specific number? Let's go odd even for black red. How much are you gambling? Hold on, let me check that. Yeah, I would I... suggest if you're doing odd even, one is zero. Hey, shut up! Because <laughs> no, one, one, zero is an either. You, you aren't there. I know, but I'm just telling you how, how statistics work. I'm a craps guy, so I don't know roulette. Okay. So what are you going to pick, odd or even? Uh, even. Twenty-two. House Perfect. pays. Where the hell is my gold? Oh, there it is. Uh, uh, give me another throw before we move on. All right. If you want it. Do it. Odd, even. Uh, let's go odd. 3, 11, 7, 21. House pays. Right. Back to Q. Q, you've been explained the rules. You know where and when it's going to occur. What would you like to do next? Uh, let's, uh, let's go find a place to stay and a place to eat and drink and maybe uh, cause a ruckus for no reason. There are two inns. One is to the east, one is to the due south. Which one would you like to take? The south. Okay. The Scarlet Witch. Uh, hi, my lord. What can we do for you? Room, please. A D12 against me? Yeah. Four. Twelve. You're in luck. We have three rooms available, my lord. Uh, which one's the nicest? First one. I'll take the first one then. It's 40 gold pieces a night. Done. Have some how, money. How many nights would you like? Uh, just two nights. Okay. Uh, do you have any animals that we need to take care of, my lord? Uh, do you know how to take care of a pachyderm? I'm not sure what that is. Mm -hmm. I have an ugly sister. It's about the same thing, except uh, the pachyderm works better. Okay. Uh, he will try and wrangle it. And his animal handling skills... Oh. Or a two. So you'll need a new livery guy because <laughs> your pachyderm will, unless you want to tell the pachyderm to let him take care of him, he's going to squash this fucker. I will tell the pachyderm to let him take care of him, even though he's, if it's bad, we'll, I'll remember. <laughs> okay. Uh, the pachyderm is not entirely thinking that you have judged this individual's character correctly, but will lumber on behind him, even though the guy wets himself. No. Uh, and then you may go to, uh, just, uh, down the street is a tavern or you can go across or you can go horizontal and up for an, a third tavern if you want. Uh, we'll just go across the street to the tavern. Fair enough. Uh, it is a, uh, good neutral bad. Four. It is a neutral tavern. Uh, mm -hmm. so it's. Not the greatest. It's not the worst. It'll work. It'll yeah, have right. it'll, it'll have food and drink. Over to uh, Perpetua. Yeah. What a dick. <laughs> yes. Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Uh, so from there, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, 
Well, fuck it. I, uh, I'll go check out the line. Uh, low, medium, or long? So long line. So long line? Mm -hmm. uh, how fast does it seem to be moving? It's going at a decent clip. And so like an hour wait-ish? So uh, what, are, what are we looking at? You're, you're looking at maybe 10, 20 minutes, maybe. It's oh, oh fuck, fuck that. Yeah, definitely. In front of you, there are uh, three roughneck-looking individuals. I am nonchalantly eavesdropping the fuck out of them. They're not talking to each other. They're just standing there. The one, uh, a tiefling, turns around and sizes you up. Doesn't seem to give a shit about you. Turns around, waits in line. Okay. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not making waves. I'm not being overly uh, braggadocious or ostentatious. I'm, I, I have my poker shades on. <laughs> which, uh, which sister is the one that plays poker? Uh, does the voice in Family Guy? Sister. Um. You, all I know is Alex Borstein. I'm not sure who you're talking about. No, it's a chesty sister. Are you talking about the one that was Bride of Chucky? Could have been. Oh, well. Moving oh, on. Yeah, I was going to say, if none of us know the joke, it's not a joke. Yeah. Lucas and Maniz. It's me. There's not many jokes here. Lucas and Maniz. But your um, seduction skills are just... Mwah. I know how to seduce. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a great call right there. Uh, Lucas and Maniz, uh, you are sitting there watching, who was it, Danson? Chastity. Chastity. Uh, her routine is over. It didn't work out so hot. She got a few Now, times. ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the stage, Misery. What time of day is it, though? <laughs> misery is no better. Uh, time of day is uh, just afternoon, I believe. Oh wow! Oh well, that's that, they got the B. They got the B team up. It's it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, you gotta wait. You gotta wait till later for the hotties. Nobody nobody goes until ten at least. Yeah. I've heard. Except, except <laughs> for the breakfast buffet, it's yeah. it's just to die for. That rose beef. <laughs> <laughs> rose beef performs later. You'll have to come back. <laughs> uh, Maniz, do you want to keep gambling against the house? I uh, know. I'll go join Lucas. Uh, he is not sitting in pervert row. He's just standing there nonchalantly sucking on his wine like the half elf or like the elf that he is. Lucas, what do you want to do? Um, he's coming over. Uh, he's jingling, man. He's 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 winning. He's got. I say I ask Maniz if we uh, he wants to go find uh, Perpetua with me. Sure. All right. Yeah. Let's go search the town for Perpetua and avoid Bushmill at all costs. Uh, as Good you fucking luck, as you <laughs> leave the establishment, you hear bell ringing and slapping. Five individuals in robes appear, all of them female, all of them bent over, all of them wearing heavy veils. Uh, an individual, just your regular citizen on the street, kind of steps back and tries to motion you back. It says, I step back. I feel these are lepers. No, 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 no. You you found Madahari. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I'm I'm backing out of the way. Okay. Uh, the sisters of Ming pass by, uh, slapping themselves and ringing bells. Is is, uh, is is Ming renowned to be merciless? No, Ming is a female. It was a flash cord joke. Damn it. I got it. It wasn't that good. <laughs> there, how's that feel? You know how's that feel? You like no, that? No, you like no. that when people call you out on your jokes? <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, that's what I say. Fuck you. Remember, folks, we're from mature audience. So. I do like it when you fucked me, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Lucas and Maniz, uh, there is an inn just down the street. However, uh, Ming and her sisters, the quartet uh, of sisters, are headed that way. Now, I have a, I have a feeling that maybe... Uh, Perpetua got arrested. It seems like uh, what something someone in our group would do. So I would check the magistrate first. Okay. Uh, Lucas or Maniz, are you going to follow him? Yeah, I definitely. Seems like a very re <laughs> reasonable outcome. 
getting arrested sounds reasonable. Q, give me and a D12. Also the, Lucas. Uh, Dewey and Chains, so that's also kind of my thought behind it. Uh, actually, they are already going to be locked away. So Lucas, Maniz, and Q, give me D12s, please. Ten. Five. Four. Uh, Q is already gone. Lucas and Maniz, uh, you come to a tavern on the left. Uh, raucous laughter can be heard, but not overly so. And you come to the magistrate's office. Inside, there are a shitload of guards and military individuals. Uh, give me a, an insight check as you see a large armored figure with his back to you. Uh, all right. Nine. Fifteen. Lucas, that guy looks familiar. Maniz, that guy looks like he's in charge. I back out of the door really quickly, and I tell Maniz, I'll wait outside. <laughs> I step out. Maniz? I'll follow Lucas. <laughs> Coward. <What? laughs> I, I want this to you. What are you doing? No. <laughs> uh, Lucas, as you back out, you bump into a guard. Oh, I apologize. Uh, I'm just going to be going about my day now. Not a problem, hero. I'm glad to see you made it back. Lance Corporal Fargan is behind you. Oh, Lance Corporal Far Fargan. I don't know who that is. He was the guy in charge of the guards down in the uh, altar room. Wait, does he know me? He, he was the one that was around when we were when we were cleaning up and Dewey was taking etchings and stuff. Oh, so he knows me. Yeah. Oh, well then I'll I'll say hello to him. Hello. Did you get your reward? No, I have not. Oh, you need to you need to get your reward. Did you hear about Joey? No. PFC first class has been killed. I believe it was by your associates. Holy shit. No, Tell they must be saying your just reward. <laughs> They must be framed. We must clear their name at once. Also, where do I go for my reward? Uh, well, you go over to uh, Fink Mining Headquarters, but if you want to clear their name, uh, Lord Bushmill is inside. He can help you. Um, oh, thank um, No, I'll just go over to the Mining Headquarters. You there. know what? I'll go get him. I'll go, I'll go get him right now. You know what? I don't think he's met you. He, he's going to be overjoyed that you guys can. I'll be right back. Wait. Please, right? no, it is okay. And he goes into the jail or the magistrate's office. <laughs> I leave immediately. <laughs> I tell him he's, we're in trouble. Bushmill's coming. That's not <laughs> Off we go. As fuck at all. <laughs> uh, are you going to go left? Or are you going to yeah. go right? Left. I'm no, going, I, yeah, towards the, the mining HQ, I would assume. Number five? Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Uh, once you get past the uh, large in number three, uh, you notice a stable boy is having a doozy of a time with the large pachyderm that Maniz pissed off. It glances over towards Maniz and becomes a little bit agitated. Allow me to get my DM shine on. <laughs> what would you like to do, Maniz? <laughs> Stay as far away from that thing as I possibly can. Uh, just across the opening, uh, you reach Fink Mining Headquarters, and it has a sign on it that says closed. However, there is a young lady in there with copper skin and black hair. Very attractive lady. I knock at the door, and I wave at her. And then, uh, uh, can you let me in? Yeah, yeah. She pulls open the door, but you can tell she has braced it with her foot, leaving a gap about yay big. Uh, may I help you? Um, well, I was just wanting to ask uh, if now would be a good time for us to pick up our reward for help cleaning out Pink Mine, or if now's not a good time, when should we come back? Maniz, are you with him? Um, well, behind him. Okay. Can you see the lady? I would assume so. Okay, fair enough. That would, that would be a question for you. Well, it, it, <laughs> it's whether or not he wants to be seen or not. Uh, Lucas, uh, she begins to explain that Mr. Fink is not present, but ends up stopping in mid-sentence, and you can tell...
And she kind of glances around you after sniffing the air and looks at Manise with a puzzled appearance. Is something wrong with my compatriot, Manise? Have we met before, kind sir? Not, not that I could recall, and I'm pretty sure I'd remember. Have you ever been to the Hollow? Simon's Hollow? No. We, we, we have been to the Hollow. <laughs> there. Okay, Deception. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh deception that is an eight we've been to simon's hollow <laughs> you look familiar uh Maniz, you don't have a clue who this person is yeah all birds look the same i he gets out a lot that's what my friend mr sanders says <laughs> Yeah, we uh, killed him, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, you killed him. Outside too. of game, I'm asking. We <laughs> killed him, didn't we? Yes, you killed him too. Uh, <laughs> Lucas, it appears as though she is not going to be able to go ahead and give you the reward. Uh, she does point out that if you get Lord Bushmill uh, to come vouch for you, uh, she could probably release it. Lord Bushmill's right over there. Just right, just a couple doors down. Th- thank you. Thank you for that. He's got he's got some perfectly adequate whiskey. Man, uh, are you guys gonna stay or leave? We will go retrieve Lord Bushmill and not actually go get Bushmill. Perception, Lucas, and Maniz. Nine. Lucas. Uh, as you two part ways, Maniz scurries away, but you can hear her. Hmm. Before she shuts the door and you hear the audible lock. Did Manise shit on her? <laughs> oh, the one that, that you got in the mouth. It was that one. Shits on you. That's good luck. Yeah, I don't think it is when it shits in your mouth. <laughs> I don't think it is for Maniz. Uh Lucas and Maniz, where would you like to head next? Uh, you're <laughs> running out of real estate. <laughs> um, I, I you also of... notice that they are setting up uh, long planks of wood in the Plaza Military Camp area for tomorrow's pending celebration. Hey, Maniz, I have a feeling that since we saw our friend Dewey in chains that he's in the jail, do you want to try and uh, sneak in there and break him out? No. No? That's just not sounding <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> Maybe if we have Perpetua, but well, right I, now, just the two of us, probably not. Or a good. handsome well, stranger. The thing or is, I can always stranger. turn into like a rat or a cat, use, you know, Misty Step. You can fly. Like, we, we have a chance. I, I love this plan. <laughs> I, I leveled up. Don't, don't assume that I kept Misty Step. I have Misty Step. Jail some two. Over to Q. Q. Uh, you find. Uh, give me a. Give me a D twenty. Let's uh, see how the food and beverage taste for you. Uh, fourteen. Yeah, it's okay. It's not yeah. bad. You've had better, but it's not gruel. Uh, what would you like to do? I'm gonna just stroll around town and just kind of get catch my lay catch the lay of the land. You want to go? Oh, that's over at six. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, do you want to go clockwise or counterclockwise? Well, clockwise. Uh, you hear the ringing of bells, and uh, you also see five women uh, in row or religious robes and veils uh, smacking themselves and ringing bells. Oh, nice. Uh, give me an, shame. Give me, give me an arcana <laughs> check. Arcana? Okay. Yep. Uh, that's a 10. Yeah, you don't know who these guys are. Cool. BDSM is always in. Yeah. Uh, I'm a you, sub. You, yeah. you do run into, uh, let's see. You run into a silver dragonborn uh, dressed in heavy armor and battle gear. Uh, I think it's a he. It is a he. Uh, he looks you up and down. Gambler. In for the contest? Yeah. yeah. What about you? You here for the contest? Same. Nice. I'm here. Okay. 
Good luck. Uh, have you found any place uh, good to eat? That's yeah, like, average. Place to stay? Yeah, I did. You should keep looking. I bet you'll find one too. Ooh. Oh, we're playing dick mode. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, are you asking for my personal opinion on spaces here? I don't live here, so I couldn't. No, about, uh, about that time, a uh, female lightfoot halfling wanders around the corner and says, Pepsi, we need to find some rooms. Hey, you here for the contest? Yeah. Are you guys looking for rooms? There's, yep. I'll point them towards the end I was at because I think there's rooms. I don't. I didn't ask. I was like, I think there's like a couple more left in the one I went to, if you're really looking for it. Best of luck, stranger. Yeah, you Who, too. Uh, Are you new to the area? Why? This is well, a whole series of questions for people I've just met. What's your names, strangers? Uh, my name, the halfling says, is Cola. Uh, this is my friend, Pepsi. Ah. We and our other friend, Sprite, are in town for the contest. I myself have been looking for some relatives that have gone missing on the trail. Mm, have you Sprite is a, a subsidiary of Coke. It should be 7-Up. <laughs> you know what? Ne neither one of them are paying my bills, so fuck those guys. <laughs> uh, well, what you say, you, Q? <laughs> have you checked the uh, Dew Mountains lately? That's nope. I, found a, uh, okay. I can't seem to do it. <laughs> ah, gotcha. <laughs> Well, well, if you if you run into them, there are three minstrels. They are my relatives. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> FYIQ, we we killed them. <laughs> I still have that French horn. I kind of guessed as much. Um, well, the, the look on Ernie's face is <laughs> fresh. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, if I run into them, I'll make sure that they find their way back to you. Thank you, and good luck tomorrow. We hope to beat the pants off you. Ah, yeah. Same to you. I will walk by and just guarding your by. coin purse. <laughs> I will. I will. Uh, yeah, I will walk by, just kind of eyeballing. It's like fucking weirdos in this town. Bird people, dragon ball, <laughs> tiny halflings. Says the man with the war elephant. <laughs> that's uh, that's. That's presentation, not just being a weirdo. Yeah. Uh, when you're playing poker, you're not playing the cards. You're playing your opponents. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, Perpetua, you, you are up. Or I'm sorry, what is your name currently? Uh, Perpetua is fine for the time being. Okay. Uh, I'm still trying to register. Uh, oh, yeah, you're done. Uh, you see uh, uh, a wizard... Uh, the tiefling wizard ahead of you has apparently conducted uh, his business and he's off to find his associates. Okay. So I'm sufficiently registered. No registration fee. No. Nope. Just buy, buy a condios. Don't get killed. Um, yep. Good luck. They, okay. They, they will assign you tables tomorrow. Okay. Do I have some kind of proof of. They, they'll give you each a token. So, okay. so you have... and Perpetua, you each have a token. Okay. Mm. Uh, I want to examine it very closely, but not necessarily right now, sometime when I have a little downtime. Uh, all right, so I better go get some practice in. Where's the nearest gambling hall? From so there? I, I'm assuming it would be the one below my inn. Uh, no, it, the closest one from you is across the way on the left. Uh, the one that looks like North Carolina. Okay. Well, I guess I guess I'm thinking about taking that alley uh, by that second tavern. So I guess I, I want to take the alley to my inn and then down just down to that gambling hall. You meet the sisters of Ming. Can I get a religion check? I'll give you Arcana. Only Arcana. Okay. Well, that's fine. My Arcana is better anyway. Uh, Seventeen plus five. Uh, you've heard of these guys. They're the sisters of Ming. Uh, they're into self-abuse. Just for shits and giggles, or does it grant them a power? Uh, they seem to feel that it grants favor with their deity. I, I want to. I want to interact with them. If oh, they, that's a great call. Well, 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 no, no, like, no, no, like in a, in a friendly way. Like I, I want to, like not necessarily interrupting them if they seem intent, but if they're making a show of this, I, I, I actually want to kind of question them. Oh, that's fair. Uh, yeah, no, they aren't going to talk to you. Also, behind them, go ahead and give me an insight check. Uh, 18 plus 21. You see Handsome Stranger headed towards your inn. Uh, you see the tiefling meet up with the 
uh, Dragonborn and the Lightfoot Halfling. A handsome stranger's headed to my end? Looks that way. He's going clockwise across, trying to meet okay. people. Okay, that's fine. And insult them, apparently. I'm, I'm, I still don't want, I don't want to stand out or cause a scene because <laughs> I don't want my opponent to know who I am. Yes. You, uh, you hail their leader and the Sisters of Ming continue on with their rancid prayer. Does, does anyone seem unfazed by this in the, in the vicinity? No, they're giving them a wide berth. They, yeah, yeah. religion. Yeah. But, but I mean, does anyone seem, is there anyone that doesn't seem weirded out and just more like, oh, okay, here they are again? No, they, I, 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 I want to ask one of the people, like maybe that's making way around them for a little bit more information. Uh, you see a female uh, commoner. Okay. Can I just surreptitiously go up and say, hey, what's the deal with those guys? Oh, they're uh, they're the Sisters of Ming. They're a religious organization. They don't like gambling, so they're here to protest. Oh, okay. They're the no homo people. Gotcha. <laughs> so they're Westboro Baptists? Yeah, this, yes. yeah, this is the Westboro Baptist Church. These are the these are the gay burn and hell people. Okay, I got it. Uh, over to Lucas and Maniz. <laughs> What fresh hell would you guys like to try now? That the, the south side of town is obviously not your place. Maniz, if you don't want to free him, what do you want to do right now? We gotta find. We know that Perpetua is here, right? Yeah. You assume. Uh, okay. you, you saw me take off this way. Uh, or you yeah, would, we have no idea. <laughs> that this is the only way to go. And you know what? Actually, I'm, I'm a little bit off on my timeline. This is going to be late afternoon. Okay. Yeah. That's so, fine. The eighteen the team still doesn't take the stage until after eight. That's what I heard. <laughs> so um, uh, I, I don't know. Try to go back to a tavern or something like that. Lay low for a bit until we figure out. Maybe find someone. Find something. I don't know. I was kind of thinking about trying to murder some homeless people in some alleys to stir some shit up. Well, that's always an option. You, you mean murdering some hobos? Yeah. <laughs> Let's not be on brand at all. Let's go find some hobos. <laughs> all right. We're going to go find some uh, secluded alleyways with some uh, homeless people. Well, the secluded alleyway that you guys escaped from where the goats or sheep were that you wanted to set on fire is over by 326 on Ooh, the high yeah, point. Back there. Uh, these, these circles on the map do not indicate guard towers. The only guard tower is in the center in the Plaza military camp. Uh, so the rest of this area is stockade fence. As you go back over there, the goats are a little bit wary of your approach, considering what you did to them last time, uh, but there is an alley. Cool. I, like I, I will take uh, D12 from Lucas and Manis. Eight. Eight. Well, good news, Maniz, uh, you lean over to pet the goats, and Lucas, you hear a rather familiar voice behind you. Well, hello there, love. What voice is that? I believe it's Blanche Devereaux's sister. Oh. One, of the, one of the twins. Got I remember there. Blanche Devereaux. Don't you. worry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ones that like Lucas, right? Am I, if I remember correctly? Correct. Okay, good, good. They're in town for the poker except, tournament as except well. For, except for when they don't, because they're all the same person. It's weird. Gotcha. She's got a lot of personalities up there. Uh, she wants to know if you want another throw. Hell yeah. Uh, pay up and give me a constitution check. Uh, how much? Her fees, her fees, her fees. I think it was five, wasn't it? Worth it. No, 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 no. There's a festival in town. Rates have increased. Oh, that's a good point. Ten. Ten? All right, let's find a secluded uh, spot in the alley. Oh, well, there's the pigsty over there. Sounds perfect. <laughs> this is how Jack the Ripper worked. <laughs> okay. You got the idea, Frank. Uh, I'm going to get recoup my gold after me. <laughs> uh, are, are, what would you like on the menu of services? Keeping in mind that this is for mature audiences only, but we don't need to go overboard with graphic. Nature. Oh, yeah, yeah nothing, nothing. How much, how much for a Z job? <laughs> She's not very good at math. Everything is 10. Keeps it easy. Okay, Lucas, give me, uh, if you aren't fornicating, give me a uh, con check at advantage. If you're fornicating, straight up. 
does does that mean TV? He's yes. doing the coitus. But, well, I know, but what's fornication is a is a is a is a. Is Look, a lucky Clinton, deal. we aren't going into that right now. What would you roll, Lucas? I rolled a nineteen straight up. Oh yeah, uh, Blanche Devereaux's sister is just as talented as uh, her other sister. Finishes okay. up and uh, is starting to leave. Manise, well, no, no, the no. goat smell. Post coital, just. Oh, you're a snuggler. Oh, you're gonna stab her. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill her. Grand Theft Auto style. Please, big spinner, big please spinner, little fuck spin. this up. This place is crawling with cops. Go oh, ahead, yeah. hit her. Eighteen to hit. Yeah, you get her. Cool. Death services, and that was. It's got like four hit points. Oh well, I did eight magic damage with my magic sword. Okay, you skewer her. Now I loot the body again, again. <sighs> You are customer number four. So I got 30 more gold. Perfect. Plus your original 10. Yeah. Back, well, back to Q. Uh, you. You've already passed this area. You notice the gambling hall, strip joint, also the tavern in the 326 area. Would you like to stop in or you just want to talk to various people? I'll uh, talk to various people. A male looks at you and goes, you the guy that rode that giant donkey in? Uh, it's an elephant, you uncultured swine. <laughs> uh, well, uncultured. Yes, because if you were cultured, you know it was an elephant. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the compliment, sir. You're so welcome. It's, it's nice to see that you aren't some of those scumbag adventurers that we had in here earlier. Oh, there's scumbag adventurers here. Yep. What do they do? Uh, they caused problems and tried to set goats on fire not too long. They, they, they adventure and they put scum in bags. Yeah. Well, goats are notoriously assholeish, so I could understand their need to be set on fire. Do you like uh, do you like goats? No. I can hook you up. No, I'm <laughs> I'm good. You should wrong crowd. Wrong crowd. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, the individual smelling like dung moves along. <laughs> Um, next up is a child and it is a, do you like children? I can hook you up. <laughs> it's a, it is a male child. Uh, and you know what? It's going to be the livery stable boy. He's now walking with a limp. Oh, do you, uh, you hurt yourself? You, your damn animal stepped on me, sir. <laughs> well, you're very tiny, so it's not surprising. Um, here's 10 gold for your troubles, kid. It also shits a lot. A well, lot. Well, I mean, it probably a lot. Back, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like easily one of you, so. Uh, could, I, could I get a little bit more, sir? So I, may I have another? Uh, yeah, here's another 10 gold. Okay, he's happy. He limps off like uh, he's in the Christmas carol mm. uh, and goes off. Uh, last one will be a female, but this one is going to be the halfling. Uh, Cola. She is waiting outside the uh, tavern slash strip joint. Spots gambling and stripping emporium. Mm. Hey. Hey. Anything? Ready for tomorrow? Well, of course. I'm just bored. My associates are in there practicing if you want to apply your skills early. Oh, uh, why practice? It's a waste. Practice makes perfect. No, give practice an, makes permanent. <laughs> give me an insight check. Uh, 10. Uh, the stable boy starts to limp past you and you notice some kind of weird movement by this light foot half lane, but with the 10, you don't notice anything unusual. Got it. Hmm. So if you're practicing in there and you're out here. Oh, I'm not practicing. I'm good. Ah. Puts a coin on her fingers and does the... Oh, so you're not a fair player. You have to cheat. I get it. Ledger demand. Sucks that, is, suck. that, that is offensive. <laughs> no, it's not. Stop lying. What's your charisma? 14. And you have a funny nose, sir. Have a good day. Yeah, up yours. 
And I'll move on. I'll move back to my <laughs> shot of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Uh, uh, Perpetua, you are up. Okay, so have I made it to my uh, my training grounds? Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, ahead of you, you see handsome stranger talking with a Lightfoot halfling as uh, the gimpy does, boy wanders does, away. Does this Lightfoot halfling bear a striking resemblance to some thieves that I know? Yes, not thieves. Troubadours. Thieves. Thieves. <laughs> Singing thieves. I take note of this. Okay. Uh, she is standing next to the door, so you're going to have to make it past her. Uh, oh, uh, no. Yeah, no. I'm... I'm I'm completely confidently, I, I'm, I'm absolutely no problem, but I'm going to be watching her, but like, I'm, I'm going to be not watching her. I'm going to be aware of my person. Okay. <laughs> She's not I into you. I, I, I'm like, okay, I'm, get I'm, over I'm yourself. She's fucking, not I'm into you. Her six fingers out, out of her fucking ass. To <laughs> fucking... Uh, you go in and there is a stripper up there. Oof. Still B team. This one might be a C team. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else do we got in here? Uh, uh, you have just about every gambling uh, what table. Kind of, the band. How, how, got, how, uh, how packed is the place with the, uh, with the uh, festivities to come? It's not bad. A lot of these people you recognize from the line, including the tiefling and the silver dragonborn. Uh, these individuals. Trying to occupy themselves for the evening. Eh, they're just practicing. Keep, keep killing time until the main event. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Get getting to know, checking on tells, seeing what they can see with their competition. Uh, that's that's essentially what I'm here to do. So I guess I will move about. You know, uh, if uh, once in a while I'll I'll stop to gamble briefly. I'll I'll roll for that. But I'm a, I, I would be perfectly content to call it a wash or a loss of fifty gold. I don't care. But I don't really want to have to waste too much time doing that right let's do uh four rolls uh d6 okay first rolls a two okay hang on i rolled all at the same time let me put them in order six two one five we split the difference uh okay. so you break can I, even I, can i can i sleight of hand cheat that one uh, yes, but you are with professional gamblers. Nineteen. Nineteen as well. It's a draw, and mine is natural. So. Okay. Well, I. I that's fine. I just. Are you cheating? <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. Uh, then you best stay awake at this table. I, I, I am. I am awake. I I had a coffee. Move early. on. Move on. No, oh, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> the tiefling uh, seems to be angered by you. Oh, this is the wizard. Uh, the tiefling is the wizard. Okay. So this, okay. I I would not have done that in his presence, but that's fine. Um, he was uh, just one of the many sitting at the table. Okay. I. Uh, uh, what, did I did I gather any? But more but the the important part of that interaction was I wanted to gather information about the other people. Uh, you you've come to a reasonable conclusion. Uh, oh. You'll you'll notice that the dragonborn and the tiefling uh, both really suck. Intentionally, I, can I insight check the sucking? You may ins insight it. Uh, I think that's only a 12. No, no, that's a 14. They just appear to suck. They, they suck. Okay. Okay. Uh, drink. Or is that at the tavern only? No, you can get a drink here at spots. Cause as soon as you walk in, if you're a gambling sort, they're going to go ahead and give you alcohol. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's Vegas. Like as long as you're spending money, there's, there's exactly shitty, there's, there's shitty drinks. I don't want shitty drinks. <sighs> Apparently it's a twin up there dancing now and the quality is just going, twi going twi twi twice eight. the, twice the titties. Does not mean twice the uh, dexterity? No, out, out of the two, you can get two matching sets, but, not, but not on one. 
That's how many boobs I saw today. Three. <laughs> Over to Lucas and Maniz. What do you want to do? <laughs> make I'll make friends. sure the body is hidden in that pigsty. Um, and then I'll be on my way. Give me a D20 straight up. 13. Okay. Uh, the pigs will feast on, uh, <laughs> let's see, Noir Devereaux. <laughs> Got it. Uh, poor Noir. She's gone. Manise, what are you doing? Uh, the goats smell and they can nibble at your fingers. Beat Blanca if we're going with Noir? Oh, we can do Blanca. Blanca works. Um, Blanche and Blanca. Hold on here. I'm just going to look at this map real quick. I'm going to go towards the taverns. Uh, the one right below three or the one uh, across from three? Those are your two closest ones. You're at the three, two, six. Uh, well, it'd be two, the one in the middle, I guess, the one right under three, if that's where we are. Sure. Uh, this is just going to be a standard tavern. Uh, no gambling, just uh, your at-home place. And it is, it is a nice place. Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. You're greeted at the door with the, the standard entrance of Norm. <laughs> and have, that guy walks in behind you. <laughs> I have a big cheers glass downstairs, actually, and it says Norm on it. <laughs> there you go. You, you are in a happy place. Nice mahogany. Uh, the floor is clean. Uh, the patrons are pretty decent. Um, and you do notice there are a few adventuring ilk in there. Also, uh, you know what? Give me a perception check. Twenty, not this natural. A, this is a cop bar. A cop bar? Yep. <laughs> yeah, no. My, my Bernie just jumped out of his seat. <laughs> I, I, I didn't hear cop. Cop bar. There are several <laughs> guardsmen in here. And they are all lamenting the loss of their friend and colleague Tribbiani, and they just want to string up that fucking dwarf. Yeah, that dwarf. That fucking dwarf. Wait, um, wait. is there like non-police we, people there, or is it like ex okay? I'll uh, try to find a spot that's like you know more out of in the back somewhere, something like gotcha. that, where I won't bother anybody. Lucas, are you uh, going in after? Pigsty and Blanca. Now I want to make sure I'm cleaned up a little bit first, and then, uh, mm, yeah, I don't know where I want to go now. Is there, um, maybe I want to go to a magic store. Is there magic? Is this in this small town? No. Mining, mining, mining. town. It, it's large enough to have three gambling halls and a tournament held in it, but not large enough to have a pawn shop. Yeah, oh, it's got a pawn shop. Yeah. He said magic shop. It's got a pawn shop. I'll check out the pawn shop, though. Uh, the pawn <laughs> shop is next to five on the left. Yeah, it's tried out. Okay. Just uh, in a roundabout way, so I don't pass in front of the magistrate in the jail. I'll take two D20s, straight up rolls. Uh, <laughs> first one was a nat 20. Okay. Second one was a 14. Uh, the Nat 20 allows you to evade some of the guardsmen, including uh, Lance Corporal Fargan, uh, as he goes into the tavern Meniz is uh, hanging out in. Uh, the 14 allows you to bypass Lord Bushmill, as it appears as though he is going into uh, Spots Tavern and Boobery. Spots Tavern? Mm -hmm. Nice. And Boobery. Wait, where's that? where's that one at? Strip joint. That's yeah, number no, six. Getting burnt. Six, number bo six bottom right. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Yeah, no. Um, I don't really care about that. Okay. I want to go to the pawn shop. Gotcha. Uh, Q, um, as you circle around the building, you see a man of great importance wearing heavy armor. He's older, gray hair, but well-dressed uh, and very, shall we say, noble. Noble. Oh, okay. Uh, boy. Uh, how's your evening? 
Just fine citizen takes a look at you. Here for the contest, I can assume? Uh, yes. I am here to win big, I guess. Oh, very good. My, my best of wishes to you. Thank oh, you yeah. for visiting our fair community. I am Lord uh, Beauregard Buford Bushmel. Hmm. Okay. Evil dude, man. Watch out. The second, the second because the son we killed was the third. How's that? Uh, how's that going for you so far? Well, we've, you know, we always expect problems, as I'm sure you're used to. I can tell from your finery that you aren't from around these parts, and I mm. believe I've been told that you have a rather large pachyderm as a mount. Yes, I do. It's. I have not seen one since the wars. Congratulations and kudos to you for being able to handle such a vibrant animal. Well, yeah, takes a, a special kind, you know. Well, I see you're wearing a helmet, so I'll assume that you're a helmet special kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> he, uh, he wishes you the best of luck. Make sure that you were there bright and early and uh, casually, not in an accusing fashion, reminds you that uh, cheating will not be tolerated. Neither will you. Got it. Do a lot of people cheat in this tournament? Well, uh, they did a few years ago, so we've had to rearrange the rules. That is partially why the military is here. Oh, so it's that's not really uh, so much cheating as that's a problem that you all have. Well, the there was a problem in the mines, but that has been rectified with uh, mixed results. Uh, and then uh, we're also here to go ahead and offer uh, assistance to the people of Fink to make sure that everything is on the up and up. Yeah, that's a bit much for military to cover a uh, tournament, but, you know, whatever. As you, as you know, the stakes are very high tomorrow. No, actually, I don't. I just kind of, I glanced over it. I'm just here for fun. Shits oh. and giggles and all that. Stakes are very high. Oh, how high? Uh, last year, I think uh, the pot was 5,000 gold pieces. No, yeah, that's, that's all right. Uh, a lot more people. Uh, we had to turn some away from the gate uh, due to the problem in the mine. Oh, well, all right. I am off to see a fantastic show. If you get the opportunity, you might want to swing by spots later. A uh, young lady named Barbarella is going to be performing. You don't want to miss that show. I'll just follow you then the spot, sir. Very nice. Uh, you head back to the spot, and uh, it is right around dinner time uh, mm -hmm. for the PM. Uh, so as the nightlife starts to get going, Manise, uh Lance Corporal sees you, goes over, shakes your wing, uh, buys you a beer for helping out in the mines. Everybody's favorable. Introduces you to a lot of the guards. Uh, Q, you are Lord Bushmill's personal guest for some reason. You seem to have struck it off. Uh, he is going to introduce you to Barbarella, his favorite dancer. Uh, Perpetual, what would you like to do? <clears throat> uh, before it gets too much later, I'm actually I'd like to go back to the uh, to back to the uh, mining operations headquarters. Okay. Uh, and before uh, I want to know if that girl is still there. Nope. It's locked. It's locked and closed? Okay. Then I will go to the magistrate. Fair ah. enough. <laughs> Good luck. Well, yeah. Lord Bushmill's not there anymore. Yeah, uh, I wasn't even worried about that. I'm going to the magistrate. Okay. Uh, I, 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 owe, I owe Kyle a trip to the magistrate. That's true. Uh, what would you like to do? Magistrate is... So, going back to so a little... Uh, you remember the fact that one of the uh, people that were after him got somehow mysteriously got killed by that by that dominatrix bitch, correct? Finestra? When I when I accidentally magic missiled her and she somehow deflected them towards her or towards the one of the uh, one of oh, the, you told the gnomes. Mm -hmm. One of the oh one one of the gnomes. My I, I I remember how and why. You remember that I became him and took his clothes for a while, correct? Correct. So I would have, uh, I would still essentially have his artifacts on my person. So can I get an identity of this person? Well, you didn't talk to him, so all I, you'll do I, is I look like his, him. I have all of his everything that he had on him. I still have because I took, I, I stripped him naked. There's a naked body, burned to death in Torgal Manor. Right. Yeah, he doesn't have a diary or anything, papers like that. 
Okay, but I did overhear them asking for him and I would like to drop a dime uh, while I'm at the magistrate's office and suggest that they might be, there, there might be some gnomish fellows that are interested in having a talk with this Dewey Dockamel. Yeah, they've already been here. Oh, they have? Mm -hmm. Okay. That in a uh, dark elf, I believe. Oh, with, okay, with her, okay, understandable. I, I, I'm just a concerned citizen. I, I just heard that he was- that You look like one of them. Huh? You look like one of them. I look like a dark elf. No, you look like uh, one of the gnomes. No, did I don't. You, did you no, change? No, I, I didn't change into anyone. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, no, uh, the gnome, the gnomes have already been by. Okay, that, that's I. I wanted to make sure that they had a chance to talk to him while he was locked up. No, they did not. Lord Bushmill has decreed that no one gets to talk to him. Oh, okay. Give me five minutes. Lord Bushmill comes back. I need to see the prisoners. Uh, no, sir. Why? I, I, no, I'm, 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 drunk. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm drunk and I'm being stupid because I want to fuck with Kyle. I'm, I'm not doing any of that part. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's move over to Lucas in the pawn shop. What are you looking for? Um, I asked Tick, the pawn shop TikTok owner. friend. It's uh, it's about time. I understand Barbarella's uh, performing. Oh, don't worry. I'll be quick. I know exactly what I want. Uh, do you have any items that could help an adventure with like resistances or things along those lines? D twelve, <clears throat> five, eleven. I've got just the thing for you. Are you afraid of fire? Yes. Do you have fire resistance? I have a potion of fire resistance, my friend. Guaranteed oh. to make sure that you don't bake in the eternal flames of hell. Mm, I was hoping something a little bit more permanent, like a ring or an amulet. Oh, I would love to have one of those. <laughs> mm. Do you have anything uh, else that's magical other than potions? D12. Eleven. Uh, four. No, I just sold uh, a trident uh, not too long ago. Oh, really? Okay. Dark Elf, well, very beautiful. In the company them. with two gnomes. Oh, really? How long ago were they here? Oh, they were here about five minutes ago. Oh, did they say where they were going? Uh, they sound like Friends of mine, was, was the Dark Elf's name Finestra? Uh, I, I, you know what? Uh, she began to twerk, and I don't recall what her name was. Mm. I just saw Dark Elf titties, and damn. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think she's, I don't think Christy's actually twerked in game yet. It, yes, y yes, she has. Did she? That was the predominant. Uh, that, that is her forte. So, uh, that's yes, how uh, I remember it. She, she began to twerk, and I sent her over. I don't know if they're having amateur night at spots, but she might be over there to perform. And told her if she needed a job, I had a, I, I had a suspicion that someplace might be hiring. Thank you for that information. It was very helpful. Uh, as a reward, do you need anything mended? Uh, nope. All right. Well, uh, if you need anything, uh, just ask. And I head over to spots. Very good. Uh, Sounds cool. Back to Q. Uh, you and Lord Bushmill get a seat in Pervert's Row. Apparently he has a hankering for the ladies. Barbarella is not on. Ooh. But an 18 charisma lady is. And let's see what she is. Noir? Oh, human. Noir she is though? human. Uh, 18 charisma. She is not the dark elf. Got it. Okay. I uh, slide a little bit back from the from perverse row don't want to get too close because it's club i kick my feet up on the uh, uh that, that had to get your ass beat <laughs> <Yeah>. i've heard <laughs> so it's gonna hang out and i was like oh so barbarella eh? oh you will not believe what this lady can do i've seen a she's a things. contortionist <laughs> has she ever slept with a donkey this is not tijuana my friend you're too far north <laughs> I mean, you should go there. It's at least, you know, something. 
Yeah, Ben. Don. <laughs> I still get ticks, <laughs> night sweats, and shit like that. Um, no. Does anybody sleep with your war elephant? I don't know. I haven't asked. <laughs> We're not on that kind of level. We just. Okay. Uh, I, I've uh, never. I've never woken up to seen someone just turned inside out. Yeah. <laughs> A few minutes later. Uh, I don't think you've met Lucas, have you? Because he evaded your vision. Uh, people are in and out. No big deal. Uh, they bring out large copper uh, platters, and the staffing starts wiggling it in front of torches, causing a uh, disco ball kind of effect. Uh, and an individual impeccably dressed stands up into the middle holding his card and begins an oratory about how uh, the crowd is about to be made, amazed by Barbarella, the contortionist. He, 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 um... Yeah, you can arrive. So the bar is packed at this you, you point mean, time. You mean I came? Yes. <laughs> there was a finish. Uh, Q, you, uh, it, it seems as though Barbarella is now available um and the, the crowd is just being whipped into a frenzy when mm. all of the torches go out inside the building keep my hand on my coin purse and i put another hand on my dagger just just reactionary like <laughs> which which coin purse Every, everybody who has pm me that they're there uh will now <laughs> understand that there was a large gust of wind uh, right as Barbarella was starting to walk up on stage, all of the lights have gone out. Those of you with dark vision will see people scattering to and fro, and you will hear a deep female voice behind you at the entrance. The sun is now set, <coughs> excuse me, so there is, there is no ambient light coming in, no moonlight or anything. Screw you, Blake, I've already rolled, it's not going to happen. Uh, and this booming female voice yells out, we, the sisters of Ming, will not allow this to continue. Oh, so it's BDSM time then. All right. Yes, yes. No, oh, no, I'm, I'm fine. I've been, I've been looking forward to a fight all game. This show. Uh, Me Manise, too. Manise, uh, did you want to leave the cop bar and go see Barbarella with the rest of the uh, crew? Sure. Sure. Okay, Sounds everybody is at spots when this happens. About to be. So, uh, the place is crowded. There are five Sisters of Ming here. Everybody roll a d6, please. One. One. <laughs> Three. Yes, sir. Uh, a sister of Ming uh, goes at each one of you. Lucas and Manise, you have one sister of Ming. Uh, Perpetua, you have one sister of Ming. Q, you have one sister of Ming. There are two other sisters, including the... Uh, I thought there were five. There are. They, they, there, are Luke, four, there are four on, on one on each of us, and then there's two. Lucas and Manise have one. Right. They, they they have the same role. So they right. there's one. Oh, there's only one, one of both of us. Like combined. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you just there. went through just, and told us that it, all four of us have one on us. Yeah, I've changed my mind because they got matching. So Lucas and Maniz, you have one. Q has one. Perpetua has one. There are two others. It's uh, still six. That's five. Blake. Look, oh, if no, we have no, to get no. Austin in here to teach you no, fucking no, no. Math. Lucas, 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 Lucas oh, oh, there's one between the two of yeah, them. Yeah, it's miscommunication. It's just, yeah, you're right, Blake. One between okay. the are, are you there? Are you with us? <laughs> no, well, no, you're saying that they have one. That's I'm assuming that's one each. Right, no. yeah. It's, 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 it was hard I, to understand. Yeah, I, I, I misspoke initially and only made it worse. Everybody roll initiative. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Five. Seventeen. 
I rolled a six, for God's sake, Manise. You sucked. <laughs> uh, we'll start with a 19. Why are they focusing on us? There are a bunch of people in here. Uh, you guys were close. I thought I was by the stage. I was wanting to get sprayed. <laughs> eh. <laughs> they, uh, once they blew out the lights, they moved in. So besides, and, and, just, and just and just because not, of magic and sh- ma- because of magic and shit focused on us. Pepsi, Sprite, and Cola are not going to fucking mess with these guys, okay? I'm not doing NPCs. I'm doing you guys. So, okay. You guys each have uh, one except for Lucas and Manise who are sharing because sharing is caring. Mm -hmm. Uh, Now, uh, they have not made any aggressive acts yet. So, Perpetual, what do you want to do? I'm... I and I, I've already called out to them and tried to get their attention so they know that I exist. Oh, and you're oh. wondering why they're coming after you. Okay. Well, no, I didn't. They don't know that I'm a gambler. They didn't see me in line. That's that's true. And yeah. you're female right now, right? Correct. Right. So, so, I, uh, so I, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm. I'm going to. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm going to pull pull the Neil deGrasse Tyson and go. Oh, hey, look! I don't know what's going on. Like, uh, D twelve. One. Uh, Q, you got. You're up next with the. Oh, I'm sorry. No, Lucas, you got the 18. Yeah. Um, Already a dimension. No aggressive right? movements yet from the sister. No, nope, just me? moving towards you. Moving towards. And actually, you're odd. He, uh, Manise is even. Five. Yeah, they're moving at you. Um. Fuck it. Um. I'm gonna throw fire at it. Okay. At her, at her, at it. Thirteen. Women are not objects. Thirteen AC. Okay, I rolled a twenty-two to hit. Okay. Yeah, you got her. So now that I it is two D eight damage. Six plus eight. Fourteen fire damage against that. Uh now Q, you are up. You have one moving at you. How far away is she from me? Uh, filtering her way through the crowd, uh, she's going to pair off with you and Bushmill. Okay. Uh, I... She is going to focus on you. Okay. Uh, I will. Uh, Take down Bushmill. Just look at her. Look at her. Look at Bushmill. And go. Uh, yeah, I don't think. Uh, I don't think she. Uh, I don't know what her problem is, so I'm going to uh, disengage, and I'm going to just back up from her 40 feet, like pretty much hop up on stage, and then like moonwalk backwards and be like, bye! Performance check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, 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 nine or higher, and I'll throw you 20 gold. That's an 11. <laughs> right in the head. Uh <laughs> That is you three. Uh, now it is the Sisters of Ming. Uh, we'll start with Blake or Perpetua. Repent. Repent, sinner. Repent, sinner. Repent, sinner. In what manner? You're going to talk to her? Well, I'm, I'm like, what the, what the fuck does that mean? I don't have what do I have to flagellate myself? Is that what she's expecting? Standard question. What is your reaction? Okay, well, oh, well, I already used my turn. I'm like, is that all she's doing is talking to me? Yes. Okay. I, I mean, I'll, I'll wait until my next turn. Fair enough. Uh, next up, Lucas. Uh, yeah, she, fuck you. <laughs> uh, I think it's just the one. Uh... Give me a DC 11 versus wisdom. Versus wisdom. Yeah. I got a 14. Uh, You do not bark like a dog. Why would I bark like a dog? She commanded you to bark Uh, like a dog. Oh, these these are knowledge clerics. I I have advantage to being charmed. Uh, Uh, Q. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Uh, Q, uh, you have taken your step out leaving Lord Bushmill to deal with her a 
Fair enough. Uh, the old bastard punches her in the face. <laughs> the nat 20. <laughs> and that's a 16. So she is unconscious. <laughs> he is mad. Repent uh, that, you silly bitch. <laughs> guards! Guards! Manise, you are up. You have seen uh, Lucas square off with the one on you guys. Uh, the mistress of them all is floating through. Uh, it seems to be mayhem and bedlam. You're up. I will cast Guiding Bolt at the one that's going towards Lucas. Fair enough. Might as well kill somebody tonight. Yeah, might as well. Uh, all right, let's see. That is a 17 to hit. Easily. All right. Should have looked for a church of men. Uh, 15. Uh, I think it's Force. Radiant. 15? Yeah, 15 Radiant, and then they have... The next attack uh, has advantage. The next attack has advantage, yeah. Uh, she's hurting. How about round two? That's better. Oh, oh, that's initiative. Right. We're, 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 we're not doing camp or we're not doing campaign. Uh, 17. 13. 19. Minis. Oh, initiative. Sorry. Uh, 18. Very nice. Q, you moonwalk across the stage and bump into Barbarella, who is currently topless. Uh, she smacks you in the back of the head and tells you to watch where you're going. As you turn around, you notice that this enchanting vision uh, probably has a mean streak in it, and she has serpents tattooed down her arms, and the mouth open is huge. She's a young tea. Oh. No, it's just a tattoo. She's the young tea. The plane, the plane. Cool. Uh, okay, so... Not uh, a tavern until you get smacked by a stripper. That's got it. So Barbarella has tattoos. Is what you're okay? And then there's the Night Sisters, and uh. pretty much the entire bar is now erupting in chaos. Is uh, only a few torches are relit. Uh, is, is there a, a clear path from anyone to anyone? Not really. It's all a mess. Uh, envision the movie Get Hard when they did the prison riot scene. All, all I heard was Get Hard. Kevin Hart is a fucking comic. Done. <laughs> I will, uh, what do you want to do, Q? Uh, so I backed up and backed into topless Barbarella. All right. Um, all right. Uh, how far is the uh, main night sister, like the the leader? If you make this fucking prudence, I am going to. Oh, Frank. 20 feet to the right. 20 feet to the right. I will dash yep. over the 20 feet to the right. Give me an insight check as you dash. Okay. Uh, uh, 20. Oh, yeah. You notice that uh, she has also gotten somebody hard as stone. Oh. Barbarella did or the... The sister. Uh, as you see from behind, she has lifted her veil. Got it. Oh, and then dropped it back out. I got it. Okay. Yeah. I will uh I will dash twenty feet, twenty-five feet, or maybe thirty, and get behind her. Okay. And then I will uh give me a dex check to make sure you don't get jostled too much. Okay. I'll take fourteen or better. Yeah, that's a fifteen. Okay. You're uh gliding your way through the crowd. Okay, uh, I will get behind her, and then I will, uh, I will start uh, pummeling her. Pummela, pummela, pummela. Uh, I will punch her in the head. Okay. Uh, uh, that's a 19 to hit. Yep, that hits. Okay. Do, do, do. Did she see me come flying at her, or is it? Oh, no, you got her from behind. Okay. <laughs> Six. Uh, that's 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Fair enough. And then I will, uh, bonus action flurry of punches on her again. 
Okay. To keep it going. Uh, that's a 16 to hit. Yep. And a 21 to hit. Both hit. Okay. So there's four, seven, 17 more points of damage. Uh, I'm going to give a disadvantage attack to the snakes on her head. Okay. <laughs> that's a horrible roll. Uh, that was you. And then I will, uh, I will, as she does that, after I've pummeled her, I will then uh, make sure I, because uh, I, yep, I use my most action. So I will um, not, uh, I will avert my eyes from her face if she turns to me. Oh, she'll be turning around. Uh, Manise, I believe you had the 18. Did you not? Yes. You're up. I will. You still have uh, the sister on you, too. Okay. Let's go with, like, within touching range? Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's go with... Touch it's extra. Inflict wounds. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Is that It'll be a. And since there's two of them, they Japanese. have to pay extra. It's twenty three to hit. Oh yeah, that gets her. How much is it to watch? <laughs> it's free, man. It's out in the public domain. Mm-hmm. It's the YouTube of medieval RPG. <laughs> RPG Eight, penthouse. 18 form. necrotic damage. She withers and dies at the feet of Lucas. Uh, next Ooh. up is the 17. That is Perpetua. Uh, your uh, assailant has moved on to somebody else. Since okay, so, so she, wasn't, she wasn't trying to command me. She was just talking to me. Correct. Okay, and she and, and my, dis, my, dis, my confused display has caused her to move on you took no aggressive action towards her uh she feels that she has gotten through to you now she's yelling to repent at somebody else okay uh do i see anything else around me like within you see a fucking mess uh you see i, I know but, one but of the sisters see, of, fall? Of, of the faces i would recognize well, you saw Moonwalking MJ jump off the stage, circling. Yeah, I, I don't care. I don't care about him. He's a stranger. That's fair enough. A handsome stranger. Uh, uh, an see, ostentatious stranger. You see Lord Bushmill punch that bitch in the face. The uh, like my bitch, not the main bitch. Correct. Okay, uh, and I don't see, Hugh, my, Hugh I don't and see my compatriots. You see your compatriots uh, because they just disintegrated one of them. Okay. You d- give me an insight check. Let's see how much you see here. Thank you. That's what I was waiting on. Uh, 17. You notice that Lord Bushmill does not appear to have spotted either Manise nor Lucas yet. Okay. I want to make my way over to Lucas if possible. Uh, give me a dex check. Okay. A lot of jostling going Natural on. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> you trip and get alcohol spilled on you. Uh, not, 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 in, not in me. Not in you. Uh, that leads us to 16. That is me. I, uh, uh, since I didn't take any other action, can I get up this turn? D12 against me. Nine. Six. Yeah, you can get up this turn. Okay. Uh, Q, uh, your attack on the lead sister of Ming it comes with a rebuke. Uh, she uh, quickly pulls out her short sword and one of the snakes pops out of the veil. So I'll get two sword attacks and a snake attack. Uh, the yellow is the snake. Holy shit, that's bad. <laughs> a 10, a 9, and a 16. All miss. Jesus Christ. Bitch can't hit me. <laughs> uh, the, let's see. Lucas and Meniz, yours is down. Uh, there's still two others floating around. 
Uh, one is unconscious. Uh, 13, Lucas, uh, your associate Manise has disintegrated uh, yours with necrotic damage. Give me an insight check. All right, what do I get? Insight plus four. I rolled an eight. <laughs> you do not see Lord Bushmill. What do you want to do? Um, do I see any more of these enemies, these uh, Mings? Oh, yeah. There's uh, still there's one on the ground in front of a warrior, two others uh, fighting with patrons, and handsome strangers uh, duking it out with another one. Um, yeah, one of the ones that's fighting the patrons, I'm going to throw fire at it. At the um, Ming, <laughs> not the patron. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Bar cool. filled with spilled drinks shouldn't offer any problem whatsoever. Yeah, it'll be fine. Um, well, that that's good. I rolled a twenty-three to hit, so safe-ish, and uh, ten magical fire damage. That's fair. You know what? D twelve. If you match my roll, you also catch a patron on fire. I rolled a ten. I rolled a seven. So. Uh -huh. You are fine. However, your open display of hostility has garnered somebody's attention. New roll, new initiative. Jesus Christ. 13. 16. Padua? Whoops, I muted. Six. Are you are you shitting me? Really? I be <laughs> I beat two of you. Okay, handsome stranger, you're up. Uh just gonna continue pummeling uh the lady. It's all. Does that does that make you feel good? You feel good? You feel like a big man doing that? A, a, sword, a sword for a sword for sir and a pummeling for the lady. She's using a sword. I'm just punching her with my fists and my feet. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's a uh, twenty-four to hit. Uh, she takes seven points of damage. Holy shit, she has a lot of hit points. Yeah. Uh, and then I will bonus action keep beating the shit out of her. Something that's caught. That's 27 to hit and a 26. So both of those hit. Yep. She's a 15. Three, seven, and then another 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Got it. Uh, Manise, do it to it. You've seen Lucas throw fire across the bar uh, to your left. You see Q, the handsome stranger, duking it out with another one of the ladies. You see Insight Check. 20 modified. You see Lord Bushmill has knocked some, one of those bitches out and he is scanning the crowd. Okay. Uh, for a bonus action, I will cast Spiritual Weapon. Uh, and then I will fire my crossbow at the one that Bushmill was attacking. Is Spiritual the ground a bonus action or, bo or a bonus to command? A uh, bonus action to cast. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think oh. command is actually a free action. No, no, it's a bonus to command. But I thought it was an action to cast. Give me a sec. I will spiritual weapon. Blah blah blah. As a bonus action on your turn, you can move the weapon up to twenty feet. But casting time one bonus action. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's bonus to cast. Bonus to. Okay. Use command. Yeah. Uh, so right now it's cast, so my floating turkey legs out. Um, and, well, I, I'll fire at w whatever one I see that's alive with my crossbow. Uh, that is a 21 to hit. Yep, that hits. You're going and, after the other one that Lucas is not going after. And that is nine piercing damage. Fair enough. Uh, thank you. Uh, Maniz, the uh, sister that you took down, just took down a patron. Um, Q, 
Mm. You're attacking her. Give me the DC 14 versus con, please. Okay. That's not going to cut it. That's a nine. Uh, oh, and that is more than five. Or that is five. Yeah. Okay, so you're paralyzed. One more and you would have been a stoner. <laughs> and that would have ended your introduction. Uh, paralyzed with ugliness. Uh, I did the other two. Now we move to the six, which is perpetual. Uh, I'm still trying to reach Lucas, effectively. Could you walk better? Give me another dex check. I, I was going to say, I don't fucking know. Uh, okay, that one, uh, 19. Insight check. Insight check. That's going to be... Uh, Q, because you don't know any of these assholes, you don't need to make the insight check. 14. Uh, you notice that Bushmill is starting to scan the uh, thinning crowd. Right. I, I was aware of his presence from the last one. So I, 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 right, I would, but now I would you look... notice that he's starting to scan and the crowd is moving out. Okay. I, I, I would assume that I would be paying somewhat attention to him moving forward. Uh, so would I. So. so, I mean, is that, do I have to roll for that moving forward? No, you know that you know what he's doing now. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I still want to make my way towards uh, Lucas. Okay. So I'm, I'm there within within touching. Yeah. Well, within touching, squeezing. Okay. Uh, I am going to. Uh, that I'm just going to be in his presence and I'm going to act like I'm trying to order a drink. Hi! <laughs> not, not, not from him, but I'm, I'm like, I'm going to move. Wait, wait, I, 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 I'm going to guard his six. So, Lucas, uh, you see, go ahead and describe yourself. Uh, a if, if Mrs. Claus were a tiefling. Yay. Uh, come in and try and get behind you. You're up. So is there any of these main things left? Alive? Oh, yeah. uh, also give me the insight check, please. Perception or insight? Insight. Oh, okay. Eight. <laughs> you have no fucking clue Bushmills here. Uh, there's the one that you threw fire at. There's the one that Maniz has his spiritual weapon turkey leg hovering I'm over it. Back. Fire at it again. Okay. Since, since, well, no, since, I get, since, since I didn't choose any action, I would have messaged him that it was me. Okay. Oh, cool. I, I respond. Thanks. Get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> and then I uh, throw fire at the one again. Yep. And this time I got a 24 to hit. And oh, D12. Hot. D12. Yep. Eight. Okay. No match. Go ahead. Okay, and I did 11 magic fire damage. Fair enough. New round. Ha-ha! 22. 21. Natural 20 plus the 1. Natural 20 plus 5. 25. What was yours, uh, Lucas? 7. I had a 23, but I didn't get no natural 20s out of it. So, Maniz and Q, you are up. Q, uh, see if you can shake out of your paralyzation for me, please. DC 14. Okay. Uh, that's 14 on the button. 13 plus uh, 1. Uh, you start to shake it off, and you'll be available next round. Maniz, what are you doing? Um, I will command my, uh, oh, what is it called? Spiritual weapon. My spiritual weapon to attack the one that I shot with my arrow. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to see. Oh, okay. So my spiritual weapon will roll a 16 to hit. That hits. And that is four force damage. Okay. And then 
I will fire my crossbow again. And that's a natural one. <laughs> am, 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 Lucas, is, 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 is Lucas in between me and the Lucas, arrow? Perpetua, and Q are all in the same line with you. Lord Bushmill is not. Yes. <laughs> so, odd, your crossbow string breaks and you shoot yourself in the foot and your bow is worthless. Even... Lord Bushmill will spot you rather quickly. So, oh, please be even. So go ahead and roll. I'll let you decide your fate. Even. <laughs> Lord <laughs> Bushmill <laughs> takes one in the temple. <laughs> How much damage? And he's not a friendly, so it's going to uh, be damage. That is nine piercing damage. Way to go, damage. jackass. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit is he an enemy too uh lord bushmill oh fuck yeah he is he hates you fuckers uh wow uh now it is my turn with the 23 uh the medusa is gonna take another crack at q That's only marginally better. Uh, dirty 20 for the snakes. Right. 14 and below on the sword. Uh, mm. The snakes, uh, give me a constitution save. To see how much poison damage you take because you're about to get hurt. Uh, it's a natural 19. Well, they aren't going to get hurt then. Okay. Uh, let's use uh, some... Uh, Order hobo dice, folks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Murder hobo means sixes. Uh, so there's 12 plus 8 is 20. Take half 10 and uh, uh, 4. So take 14 damage. Uh, um, uh, you know what? One of those bitches is going to go after Bushmill. And oh, ring one off his armor. Next up is Perpetual with a 22, sneaking in behind Lucas so that he doesn't. I'm going to grab him by the back of his collar and we're dimension dooring to my hotel room. I will not. Bye Whoa, back. hey, mature audience is only. <laughs> uh, D20, make sure you don't get a one. 14. Okay, you guys are out. Uh, Sorry, my knees. <laughs> new round, probably last round. Although the Medusa's going to be pissed. Nat 20. <laughs> 24. My knees. Natural one. You are so fucked. Uh, you see Bushmill snap the crossbow bolt out of his head, look <laughs> at you, and do one of those cool action movie leaps to try and cleave your fucking bird arms off. Uh, first off, let's see if he can make it through the crowd. 16 plus whatever. He makes it through the crowd. He's not going to get his three attacks, but he's certainly going to get one off. Well, I'm, I'm sure he gets one off. 23. <laughs> yeah, that hit. Uh, and not, not too great on the damage. Six total on the damage is his sword wax through, sending some of your feathers everywhere. Um, one in tow. She misses him again. So Bushmill is moving towards Manise, who is here with one of the sisters. Over on this side is Q with their leader. Q, you are up. Okay. Uh... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I didn't get a chance to whack you. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, 
one of the swords hit you, a six and a five on the other did not. Okay. Uh, so five damage. Now you're up. Okay, now it's uh, back to pummeling. Uh, all right, so that's uh, where we should only one to hit. Um, three, eight points of bludgeoning damage. And then I will continue to pummel her. That's a 23 and nat 20. Uh, Reroll. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's a 16. Uh, double. Okay. Double max. Double max. So, yep. so a hit and a double max. So you, might, yeah, you still won't knock her out. 11, 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Nicely done. Uh, she's starting to look like Balboa. Uh, Manise, natural one. Uh, you notice that Lord Bushmill must really hate your guts because he just leaped over a bunch of patrons and slashed you. I will um, use my spiritual weapon to hit him. That is a 18 to hit. Nope. And then I will cast Guardian of Faith, which then a large spectral guardian appears and hovers for the duration, so I'll have it beside me. And it's not concentration. I'm just checking that right now. Okay. Um, it occupies a space, blah, blah, blah. If any hostile creature moves into that space within 10 feet of the Guardian, uh, for the first time on a turn, must succeed on a deck saving throw. Okay. New round. We're out of rolling, right? Yeah, you're done. 16. 20. 21. Uh, Lord Bushmill first. Yellow will be his shield bash, Maniz. <laughs> uh, 16, 19, and 26. 19 and 26 hit. <clears throat> Going to be one blade and one shield bash. Flee, man, flee. He's about to get knocked through a wall. Uh, shitty rolls again. I've always wondered what drywall tasted like. Uh, chalky. Ten hit points of damage, Maniz. Uh, Q. Would, he, would he have to do a death or uh, death a deck save? Oh yeah, what was it? Twelve. Uh, my spell save is thirteen. So he gets two. So he needs elevens. Uh, 11 on the heavy damage and miss on the other one. So take the, what was it? Six plus three, take nine damage instead. Uh, Me? yeah, nine instead of the full. Okay. Because the, um, if he fails the deck save, he takes 20 radiant or half on a, it's not, it's not sanctuary. It's guardians of fate. Oh, okay. Uh, Q. Who shit. Uh, a one, a four, and a 16 plus something. Five. 21. That hits. Okay, one of the sword strikes hits. You will have advantage uh, on hitting her with one of your attacks. Okay. Uh, D6. Five more damage, and you are up with the 20. Okay. No. Okay. So, yeah, that hits. That's a first strike is a 20, uh, 24, so that hits. Was that your advantage one? Yes. No nat 20, though, right? No, huh? Okay. Uh, so she takes... Uh, 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Yikes. And then I will punch the crap out of her a few more times. 
Um, so that's a 20 and a 21. Okay. So she takes another four, seven, another 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Almost there. Uh, I forgot the other one on Bushmill. Misses. Uh, Maniz, you're up. The whole commander is kicking the shit out of you. He really didn't like getting hit in the face. I will cast Cure Wounds on myself. At level two. So that'll be... Oh, my fucking lord. And no uh, one's on the healing. Oh, okay. Well, re-roll then? Yeah, re-roll. Because they were then. both ones. <laughs> All third, right. That's... A third one keeps it at one, but the first two do not. All right. So that's 12 healing. And then my spiritual weapon will take a whack at him and miss horribly with a two. Well, seven, but... New round! Yeah. I, I, I rolled a thousand. You what? Uh, that's a three. Rolled a, rolled a thousand. Mm-hmm. Fourteen. Uh, no. Uh, first on Q. Uh, the 18 will get you, plus five. 17? Yes. 17, okay. no. 17 does not get me. Okay, so just the one sword strike. Okay. Yeah. Eight max damage. Uh, Lord Bushmills. Okay, Lord Bushmills been hit from behind. Yes, he has. Lord Bushmill saves the dexterity, so he's only going to take the hit. Or no. Okay. So you see... uh, You see the sister of Ming behind Bushmill, and you see her make contact with him. Uh, Bushmill on Maniz. Maniz, if you go down, you get to join Kyle and Carol. Uh, The shield bash is probably going to get you, as is one of the sword strikes. Let's see if I actually dex saved out of it. Dex saved out of both, uh, 15 and 16. So I only take half damage on the 20? Yes. So 20, right? Two tens or just one? Yeah. Okay. Well, it would be on one per person. Okay. The first time you move into it, and then if you end your turn on it. Gotcha. Uh, Damage is D10 and D4. Where the hell are my dice? Oh, that's better. Uh, eight and four. Twelve more damage, Maniz. Still up? Yep. Q! Uh, pummel, Beat pummel, that pummel. bitch down. It's uh, a 19 to hit. So T, she takes another blah, 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 nine points of damage. She's now, since up. they've been whipping themselves all afternoon, would they already be down health? No, it's ceremonial. It's it's sexy whipping. If, if it doesn't that. hurt, it doesn't matter. God knows that. <laughs> not their God. Uh, still up, but really, really bad. Okay, so that's another 22 to hit. She'll be down. That's three. That's eight more points of damage. She goes down. Whack! <laughs> no. Bow to Jesus. Maniz, <laughs> you're up. Uh, spiritual weapon. I assume in a, a 12 misses. Nope. Nah, uh, you need 20 to hit Bushmill. Jesus. And, and then a lot of hit points will, too. Yeah, why'd you decide to fight Bushmill? I will disengage and run. shot him in the head. I know. That was our I, will, I will disengage and I guess that'll be the end of my turn. Yeah, shame on you for not having a spy sneak up behind you and like snatch you out of there. Yeah. Snatch. Uh that's 
fair. Do I uh, do I get an opportunity attack, or is that your action? Uh, let's see. Disengage. If you disengage action, your movement doesn't disengage, provoke opportunity you know, attack. Disengage removes the opportunity attack. Right? Yeah, exactly. And then get get the hell out of dodge. You will you will flee. He will yell at guards in the building to try and tackle you. Give me three straight up d20s, please. Uh, 12, 18, and a five. Okay, uh, six, 17, and a four. Uh, three guys uh, leap at you, but you manage to duck, dodge, cover, dodge, duck, whatever. Dip. That's, that's dip. What, yeah. It was dip. Dip, dip. dip. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and you rush outside. Q, you are inside. You notice that while all of the Sisters of Ming are taken care of, Three patrons have suffered uh, innumerable consequences, and it appears as though Barbarella's performance will be canceled. Oh, I saw a tit, so I'm good. Um, the, the tiefling actually took down one of the sisters of Ming. Oh, wow. Good for him. Uh, I'm going to make my way out of the bar. Well, that was fun. Good evening. <laughs> Fair oh, enough. actually, wait. I'll go back over to the sister of Bing and I'll roll her. For, I'll, I'll give her a once over to see if she's got anything good first before I the the main sister that I knocked out. You mean the Medusa? Yeah, yeah. She was the only Medusa. Uh, you know what? She wears an ornate amulet. I will. Uh, I will relinquish that from her being, and uh, then make my way out. Fair enough. Uh, it is 1015 or 1020 rather. Uh, not too bad for the campaign. We'll go ahead and end it here as these guys have made a total mess in town yet again. Uh, but they're all alive and I didn't get to kill my and throw him in jail. So, you know, it's a plus. Uh, let's do final thoughts and we will start with our newest member, Jesse. Jesse, what'd you think? Uh, it was good. Fun to be back um, and play through the casual shit show that Frank usually puts together. Um, it was, it was gotta a good be time. Me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was uh, uh, the Sisters of Ming. That was interesting. I thought they would have all, almost all of them were Medusas, but with the one going down quick, that was pretty telling. Lord Bushmill packs quite a wallop, does he not, Manise? <laughs> Then he does. Uh, Got five health. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> like, like, as soon as we were fighting Medusas, the only thing I could think of was for the Doge. And I had to get Lucas out of there. And oh, I hope I hope that you beat me back because from my hotel room, I have a dominate beast ready for that fucking war elephant. I would no. not, I would not fuck with a war elephant. I'm just saying, Maniz, Final thoughts. Well, I didn't die, so, you know, positives. <laughs> positives where you can take them. And, and you took quite the beating from Lord Bushmill. So. I did. I did. I most uh, certainly survived the beating. Uh, last but not least, Lucas, final thoughts. Uh, I think it went pretty well, but first I have a question. Did Bushmill ever see me? Before he we did not started? see you. He saw Maniz, courtesy of the errant crossbow bolt. Then I say so it was we, a we essentially night. escaped without notice. I made 30 gold. I got laid. I didn't get seen by the authorities. Well, you didn't get oh. totally laid. <laughs> you might have gotten fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, folks, uh, we'll call it a night for the campaign. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Take a look at the YouTube archive. If you want to buy uh, stupid crap, uh, phone case, uh, duvet. If you want to know what I mean when I say remember the doge, go watch that one. Uh, that They're was a good one. one. That was a great one. Despite what the producer thinks, the uh, murder of the doge was a great one. Uh, we welcome Jesse to our uh, coven of dipshittery uh, and thank our three campaign members. Uh, on Tuesday, we'll do Between the Roles, and we are doing, remind me, what are we doing, Blake? We're doing... 
Oh, we're uh, doing. Well, the, I, the, we're doing. I, I think we're doing the Grinch. How the Grinch stole Christmas. We're how doing turn, a rip off. A novel, how to turn a novel into a murder mystery. That's right. We're doing a rip off, folks. That's what we're doing on Tuesday. Next Saturday, uh, we're going to be doing a one shot, so it'll be wide open. So Jesse, if you're bored next Saturday, come back for the one shot. Uh, other than that, uh, let's do the stupid ass wave and uh, producer will cut us out to music. Bye, everybody. Thanks for <laughs> watching. We miss you. We miss I miss you. the Doge. I missed it.